Some of the major developments we're tracking right now, more than 17.3 million confirmed coronavirus cases around the world, at least 4.4 million here in the U.S. That is more than any other country with more than 152,000 fatalities now. With me is ABC chief medical correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. And Dr. Jen, there's a new study out that talks about long-term heart damage in yeah. COVID-19. Often we think of lung damage, but this one focuses on heart damage. Tell us more about it. Well, it's important to remember as we cite those numbers, there are people behind all those cases. And so doctors and physicians are looking organ system by organ system. This latest study just published in JAMA Cardiology really breaks down what we're learning about longer term effects on the heart. So things like clotting that may mimic like heart attack, arrhythmia or irregular heart rate, even infection of the heart muscle, something called myocarditis. Uh, this study looked at 100 COVID patients in Germany. Not all of them had severe disease, then did a cardiac MRI. And this MRI showed evidence of ongoing inflammation in 60% of those wow. patients and some type of cardiac involvement in 78% of patients. This is two to three months out, which is wow. what we're calling long term at this point. I yeah. mean, I'm shocked. Yeah. I don't know as a physician if you are, but as a layman, I am. What are the implications of well, these findings? I, th I think at this point, first, the implications are we need to study this more. Um, that's critically important. We don't know how long these effects will last because, as I said, this particular study was just about three months maximum follow-up. Um, we don't know whether there should be long-term follow-up for anyone who's had any type of severity of COVID-19 disease. But I think it's important for people hearing this to be aware of cardiac symptoms don't think well I had a respiratory infection it couldn't be my heart you never want to ignore something that might be uh, coming from your heart and obviously the research is intensely ongoing not just for cardiovascular involvement but literally every organ system as we learn about this virus all right Dr. Jen thank you, you for bet. that very important information Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.